everybody. Good to see you. Can you see everybody see me? Now, I don't have my earbuds in today, so hopefully, I don't know if you guys can see me or not. Hello. Oh boy, wait, who has a birthday? Whose birthday is it? I missed that one. Oh, Carolina lady. Hi, happy birthday. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? I missed that one. Oh, Carolina lady. Hi, happy birthday. Okay, well, welcome everybody. And, um,. Today, I do not have my headphones in, so hopefully okay. well, it'll do pretty good. <laughs> and, um, oh, I gotta turn that down. Today, okay, so hopefully that's not reverbing. I turned down my, my computer is to the side. That's what I keep looking at. So, okay, so welcome everybody to another um, live sale. And I have quite a variety of things today. I have some Christmas and some modern and some non-modern, all sorts of fun stuff. And as usual, we do um, the claiming. So if I say a number and you're the first one to claim it, you get it. And um, what I need you to do is to send me your information, um, your YouTube name, your regular name, uh, your address with zip code, and your PayPal information, and then. Also, just leave me a little note if your PayPal is the same as your um, your regular email. So, I guess we'll get started. And hope everybody's doing well and beating the heat and everything. And what I actually wanted to start with was, this is not for sale. I just checked before I came on. And I've reached 225 subscribers. Woohoo! <laughs> so... What I'm gonna do is this beautiful milk glass bowl. Very, you know, could be for candy or anything. Whoops. I make sure to take those tags off. All right, silly me. All right, so what we're gonna do, if you see here, it's very beautiful. It has the leaves and it has strawberries. Okay, nice pedestal. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is, if you order from me today, if you, I will put your name in a drawing to uh, probably use one of those uh, wheel deciders or whatever, and you'll get this as a, um, a prize. So, if you make a purchase today, I'll put you in the running for this, and I'll let you know next week who wins. All right. So, very beautiful. And if the person that wins, I can always throw in uh, something, picture if you want to. Okay, so, are we ready? <laughs> All right. Okay, well, let's get started. Um, actually, what I'm going to start with first is something I've gone to, I went to some estate garage sale, antique sale kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> and of course, the Salvation Army and some donations from family for all this today. So, <laughs> what I'm going to show you first is this very interesting container here. It is, it is an Edison Amber Roll record four minutes now when i picked it up i thought it was so nice just the outside you know just the the packaging and everything and it's pretty crazy my 19 year old son told me what it was because it has an actual record inside like a phonographic record only problem is it's it's broken it it's not good. 
I don't know if you can see it. This part here is supposed to be the record. And it is totally broken. So. But it is still a beautiful um, container, you know, for display purposes. That's why I'm only asking $3 because, hello, everybody, Rita and everything. So $3, number 43. And today I'm taking down my own notes, so bear with me. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So I have Sandy Otto for number 43. Okay. And hi, everybody. Michelle and Laura. Let me write that down. Sandy, where'd you go? <laughs> okay. So Sandy... Auto. All right. Now, yes, and make make sure that you guys um, send me an email because somebody last week claimed something and then never emailed me. So, your luck, it's back in the sale this week, but make sure you send me an email at um, Reclaim Treasures by Mary. I don't know what I did with my face. Whoops. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. There. Now I should be scrolling across the bottom. All right. So let's keep going. Just say hi to everybody. Let's see. We have Rita, Lynn, Michelle, Sandy, Little Vintage Me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so we will keep going. And I do definitely have some triple T's today. So let's see. Let's try this guy because he's right next to me. All right, so look at this guy. This is a plastic reindeer, and he's very retro. It's weird, like a plasticky rubber type thing, and his head moves. So very vintage looking. No markings on him. Okay. Isn't he cute? All right. Now, I looked up some things on him, and he actually goes for much more than this. So, I'm asking $12, $12 for the deer, number 11. All right, let's see. I have... Pam's Eclectic Place. Okay. All right. Good job. Thank you. Oh, guys, I am so sorry. <laughs> Please. I got to stop that. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, we have another little Christmas thing here. So let's see. All right. Now that that um, reindeer and this next one, they both they all came they came from the same sale. So this is pretty neat. I couldn't figure out a year, but it's got to be pretty old. Let's see. Um, it has. Hang on now. The reindeer does not want to cooperate at the moment. <laughs> All right. It's only one reindeer, too. So we have one reindeer and Santa. <laughs> and let's see. So we have our little plastic reindeer here. Not sure where everybody else went. <laughs> Must be taking a break. Okay, and your little plastic Santa there. And if not that, the box is beautiful, too. That's kind of neat, but then you have a whole display on the back. And the sides and all sorts of good stuff. All right. Let's 
So, let's see for that beauty. Uh, his Santa and his reindeer. It says Christmas decoration for the tree, the table, the mantle. All sorts of places. I'm not sure I'd want to put this in the tree, though. <laughs> but, whatever what floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be $10. $10, number 13. Number 13. Okay, I got Randy Heilman for number 13. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yep, so what I see, what I see come up, it always comes up on my um, computer, I think, before the screen. Okay. All right. Yes, and don't forget tonight we have... Um, Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. She has her live sale at 6 Eastern. And Laura Bemos is going to be on uh, Trusty Hunter Mercantile's Deep Dive tonight. And if I'm not mistaken, she's talking about her dominoes, right, I think. So make sure to check both of those out tonight if you can. All right. Do we have any people that you know that were in the Marines? Like, my grandpa was in the Marines, so and I think one of my nephews is, too. Does anybody have family or friends that have Marines? Oh, awesome, Grace. Yeah, your dad. Awesome. Yes, my dad was in the Navy. Okay. <laughs> That's great, though. Thank everybody for their service. But I found this book, and I thought it was hilarious. It's 101 things you should never ask a Marine to do. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm trying to find a good one. Oh, well, here's one. Never ask your Marine to paint a house. <laughs> so the whole house is painted in camo. <laughs> Let's see, there was one I saw last night, it was so funny. Um, shoot. Uh, I can't find it. It was one I thought was funny last night. Ah, that's okay. Let's see. Never ask a Marine to install a burglar alarm. <laughs> it's kind of cool. That's a bunch of these different uh, ones. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Never ask a Marine to be a makeup artist. <laughs> So, yep, there's a lot of different ones here. Let's see. Let's do one more and we'll see. Uh, oh, never ask a Marine to go on a family picnic. <laughs> so, isn't that cool? <laughs> All right. So, um, asking $10 for this book, $10, number 33. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. The reason why I was asking that much is because it is a signed edition. Sorry, forgot to say that. So, there we go. That's why. All right. So, Rita, you got number 33. Paper is going great. All right. All right. Going good. 
good here. Okay. Let's. So many things to choose from. Okay, let's do what's right in front of me. <laughs> Probably the best, right? I found this in a very interesting eye because I've never seen one like this before. It is actually a milk glass stein, like a beer stein. It has different, like a, almost like a tree and a rope, um, vines and the grapes. And it has the picture of the eagle on it. So I thought it looked really awesome. There's no markings at the bottom. Um, I think that's a little bit of schmutz there. I'll get rid of that. And so looks really good. I am asking $8 for that. $8, number 31. Hi, Nate. Welcome to the crowd. Okay, I have Hemlock Lady for number 31. Okay, Hemlock Lady gets... Number 31. Oh, hi, guys. Blue Feather Mercantile and Carrie and everybody. Welcome. Okay. Trying to find oh, what I could do. Okay, so I'm going to do some of these. I do have some triple T's today. Not, not this one, but... <laughs> All right, so what I have here, it is a little plate. I think that's Renault or 1902. And this is Denmark. Um, made in Denmark. And that's the beehive marking, which makes it a little more special. And it has even the little stand there. Okay, just a little guy there. It's not very big. All right. I'm asking $7 for that. $7, number 27. <laughs> All right, Lynn Johnson, welcome. All right, I have Lynn Johnson for number 27. And I'll just say it like a couple times. Just to let you know, anybody new that came on, I've reached 225 subscribers. So I'm going to be giving this away. It's a milk glass bowl with strawberries and leaves. If you order something today, I will put your name in a drawing and then you will win this bowl next week. Or I'll pick the winner and let you know next week. All right. Now this was a unique little thing I found. These are um, napkins that are still in the package. They say, "May all your bridges, all no, may all the bridges you cross be covered ones." It's kind of neat. Thank you, Rita. And then it has a bunch of different things on the back. Put your umbrella up. It, it's making down out. Oh, some sort of strange things. I hope it gives you what it looks like for once. <laughs> it is very strange. Very strange um, sentences around the back. But it's never been opened. Still in the package. And I'm asking $4. $4 for number four. Okay, Kylie Cat. Welcome. So Kylie Cat gets number four. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. So who 
I know I saw some people here that like the bottles. So I've got two sets of bottles today. I'll start with the smaller ones. <laughs> I was at a different garage sale, I think, last weekend. And so we have the Malca, the Phillips Malca Magnesia bottle. And it made in the USA. It didn't come with a top. And I'm putting it together with these other two unique ones. Um, this one, kind of like that beaker or bud base or whatever. There's no markings on the bottom. Okay. And then there's this one. It's a clear one, which is kind of cool because it has these bubbles that are in the um, bottles. And this just says H on the bottom. So. For the three of these, it's going to be six dollars, number 47. <laughs> All right, Hemlock Lady, number 47, thank you. are doing good today. All right, now I'm going to show you something kind of unique that I found um, at a garage sale. And I won't show you all of them because we would be here until like my next sale. <laughs> I was at this house of a, um, I'm assuming a gentleman um, passed. Uh, it was like an estate sale and I got a whole bunch of these cards and they say they are um, what are they sure eh. like photo something cards oh they said it on the back I can't remember well they're very cool they're printed in the USA and they talk about um, all the different kinds of cars, all the Aunt Mercedes, all sorts of neat ones. And they look, they said that they're from 1959. No, no, they're not. <laughs> they're car spec photo cards. There are 59 of them. And that's why I'm not going to go through all of them. Let's see. What kind of good cards do we want to look at? Uh, let's see. Come here. Oh, we got our Ferrari. Got to have a Ferrari, right? A Ferrari. And a Porsche. Porsche. Sorry, Porsche. And your BMW. Let's see, any other good ones? Oh, a Packard. And a Packard. Okay, well, we're not going to go through all of them. Now, you probably think it the price I'm going to say is a little high. But I was doing the... Um, looking up about these and people are selling each each card for like two dollars and 35 cents so i'm asking twenty dollars for the whole pile now there's 59 cards i'm only asking if you think about it you know for like two dollars a a card so twenty dollars number 35 anybody would like those pass them on there I thought somebody would like them they're not they're not my kind of thing but it's okay okay so I got uh, Rita 
All right, thank you. For number 35, Rita. Because even, you know, these could be one of those things that you put up, wait, somebody buys them, you know, one of those hold on to it kind of things that you're not ready for. <laughs> what does allure mean? Um, 33, I think I wrote you down for that. Yes, yep. I got you, Rita. I got you, Rita, for the Marine book. Yep. Okay. We have our first Triple T. I thought this was the cutest thing. And it is. it says, Grandma's... I don't know if you can see it with the glare. Grandma's Brag Book. And it doesn't... I don't know if it says what year it's from, but I thought it was so cute. No, it just says the C.R. Gibson Company, made in the USA in New Fork, Connecticut. Norwalk. What a, where did I get New Fork? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it is definitely time to go to the eye doctor. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Grandma's Brag Book. And it's so cute with the little, uh, I don't know what, oh, you put them in this way. Okay, and it's a cute tiny little book. I just thought it was adorable. <laughs> and it has its own little box. So it's our first Triple T, number 50. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, teach, teach me to, like, keep, read the, the thing, right? <laughs> so, triple T, number 50. And I didn't do rhyme that on purpose, really. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we're just going to keep on going. Keep on moving. I know that might have not been the best Triple T, right? Because everybody has um, the pictures of their grandkids on the phone. I know I do. My grandson, I have a bunch of pictures of him. Okay. All right. Let me see. Hang on one second. I want to make sure this is the right one. Yep, okay. So a uh, family member gave me these. They're Princess House. Now I know, I don't know what kind of wrap or rapport or whatever that Princess House has. But these are super adorable. They're just cute little tiny cups. There's, they're etched glass. And they say Princess House exclusive, made in USA. And... There's four of them. Three. And four. Okay. So, I looked those up. And so for the four of those little mugs, oops, make sure I the put them back in the right order okay that is not the price okay <laughs> so for those four glasses it's gonna be fifteen dollars number 34 and it doesn't look like they've ever been used so All right. Let's keep on going. Okay. Let's see. What else do I want to do? All right. I'll do the other thing of bottles. 
I have some brown bottles now. This one is just a standard brown bottle. Okay. Just kind of your basic brown bottle. <laughs> this one says liquid layout. Oh, bleh. Like Oyo Zone. I have no clue what that means. <laughs> or liquid zone. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Time for new glasses. I think that says liquid zone. <laughs> This one I can read. This is a Lysol cup. Lysol at the top. And then it says a bunch of things at the bottom. Yeah, I forgot my, uh, my. Bye. If you, if you find my brain, send it back, okay? <laughs> Magnifying glass, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, boy. So, I'll try to hold them up. I don't know if it's going to work. All right, so you get all three of these bottles. And I thought they were kind of neat. The top the seemed very similar. That's why I put these together. Okay, so the three of those are going to be $7 for number 46. Oh, okay, Lynn Johnson. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. We are doing good. Moving along. All right. I'm going to do something kind of unique. Which I think is unique. I don't know. Maybe it is or it isn't. <laughs> I found these two glasses. This one says Funny Bunny. And it's a very old Walt Disney. Really lo long time ago. There's no markings at the bottom. But it's a nice little cup. I just put that in there for um, so you could see the graphic. Okay. That cup is going to be nine dollars nine dollars for number 29. Okay. Oh boy, yeah, having trouble with the getting people to message you back. Yep. I know how that is. Okay, so let's keep going. How about uh, I have a card here and I don't know what it goes to. <laughs> Isn't that nice? All right, let's see. what I already did. Uh, you can be so prepared and everything and it still makes it a little crazy. Okay, so now I have these um, Westmoreland, I think. They reminded me of Westmoreland candlestick holders. And the funny thing about these is when I picked them up, I was holding them like this and I'm like, what the heck is this for? You know, and then I so I turn them over. I'm like, duh. <laughs> They're candlestick holders. They have a beaded area up top here. And then the other one. And they're in really good shape. So you get both candlestick holders for $9. $9 number 38. Okay, Lynn Johnson. Congratulations. Okay. Alrighty. Uh oh. The people. 
people being naughty. <laughs> Yep, so I had gotten Lynn Johnson for number 38, came in first. And what I'm going to say is I'm going to have to wait on this one because I lost his tag. Oh, goodness. Well, we'll come back to him once I can find his tag. All right, I found this very beautiful little container here. It has a rose on the top. And a metal top here and it opens up to a very nice white clear glass container so you can put whatever you like in there you know your beauty stuff or your stashy stuff or whatever <laughs> I don't know no it doesn't really have a smell but it probably was in the bathroom ladies bathroom or something okay Alrighty, so that's going to be six dollars. Six dollars, number 26. Okay. Anybody? No. Okay. All righty. Oh, hi, Cindy. Welcome. All right. I'm going to do the other cup that I have here, and it's because it's just in front of me, <laughs> basically. I'm going to borrow the thing from this side. Okay, so with this one, I have a Mickey Mouse cup, same kind of cup as the other one, and no markings at the bottom. Little Mickey Mouse. Okay, he's going to be, uh, hang on, I think. Okay, $9. $9. Sorry, I think I, um... For number 30. Yep. Oops. Nine dollars for number 30. All right. Blue Feather Mercantile. Thank you. All right. Got Blue Feather Mercantile for number 30. Thank you guys. That was a popular one. There. All right. And yes, I think we do. I'm reading a little bit about it. Yes. The people in this, the group of resellers, we do kind of give the other resellers a heads up. So, what's that? The song from um, High School Musical. We're all in this together. All right, that sucked. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That really was bad. <laughs> okay. I have this next piece. It's actually three pieces in one. It is Raleigh's Antiseptic Salve. And it's a tin. Okay. Just a plain tin. And I'm not uh, I'm not doing the smell test because I did the smell test and there is still remnants of the ointment in one of these guys. I can Oh I think it's this one. Okay. Yeah. Whew. This one has a little remnants looks of the, the ointment. So this is medicated ointment for minor injuries of the skin. Soothing and antiseptic. Mm. <laughs> so they're both Raleigh. And then on this one I figured because it's kind of the 
same area. This says Colgate and Company Shaving Stick, New York, USA. So it's just, it's empty, but I guess there was a shaving stick in here or something. So it's just kind of neat. And if you don't want the writing, just turn it around. So, kind of neat. We have this one. And these two. So for the three of them, it's going to be $12, number 44. Well, I guess I'll just keep moving. Now, I know this guy is not that one. <laughs> okay, so let's keep moving. So this is the one I was talking about. It came, made a comeback. It is our lovely rainbow piece of fabric with the the lace on the bottom now i don't know if it's supposed to be a blanket or a tablecloth i don't know it's very thin um, it could be a tablecloth but it may also be for a baby's room it has the rainbow colors blue and pink Whatever we like there. So this one is beautiful. I have it wrapped up in paper towel because it's so white. I don't want to get it dirty. So that is going to be $7. $7 for number 19. All right, Lori C. I got Lori C for number 19. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, let's see. I have three trivets, the metal. This one is the metal and the tile trivet. This one is made in Japan. Right there. And this is the legend of the dogwood. So it's a rather long one, so I won't read it. But pretty interesting. And it has the metal up here and the tile. Okay. All right. That is $7.00. Seven dollars, number eighteen. Okay, I got blue feather mercantile. Okay. One thing out, I don't want to get it dirty. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, I have actually something here. Pull these out here. Okay. Hopefully, I won't knock everything over while I'm doing it. All right. So, these were donated by a family member. And they are very in very good condition. I don't know if you guys remember the Tupperware. The Tupperware Parfait Cups. 
see they um can they come apart okay now i have six of these but only five tops so sorry about that <laughs> Okay, so you guys can have a nice little dessert. Parfait, jello, jello shots, I don't know, no. <laughs> okay, so you get all six of those. All six of those for $8. Number one. Yes, they are. They're in very good condition. I don't think they've been used very much at all. Okay, Teresa Bryant for number one. Great. Yes, definitely make some awesome desserts in those. And they're really nice, if you, you know, because you can take the the bottom off and take it apart and stuff. Wow. Oh, do I really have 60 people? Wow. Woohoo. Okay. Don't forget to like the video and comment if you want and subscribe if you want to see me being a weirdo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. All right, here's a question. Do you want a trivet or Christmas? Oh, hi, hi, Jackie. Yep, thumbs up, thank you. So, do you want another trivet or do you want Christmas again? Oh boy, okay, let's see. Uh, I see more Christmas than trivet, so we'll go with that. <laughs> All right, so at one, the one sale I went to over on Friday, the man had a lot of nice things. And what I found was so cool. These are King Christmas lamps. They're the old fashioned um, bulbs. Now I have two sets of these particular, what I'm showing you, I have two sets. I'm going to do them one at a time. So these are all pink, like that pink maroon, you know. And it says they were made in Taiwan, Republic of China. So you get those. And then together with that is another one. There's pink, white, like a minty blue almost. Well, maybe not minty, but a light blue, an orange, and a darker blue. Oh, did they get really hot? Oh, boy. Well, at least with these, you can display them and they won't be hot at all. <laughs> so you'll get, oh, well, if I don't, oh, my goodness. So you get both of these, both of those for $7, number 21. Okay, we got Lori C for those. All right, so Lori C gets number 21. Okay, number 21 for $7. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's okay, guys. We have we have a house full, so you're gonna hear people talking all over the place. I just want to wanted to let them know. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're gonna do a trivet now. Okay, so this one says, "Come in, sit down, relax, converse." Our house doesn't always look like this. Sometimes it's even worse. That's funny. That's true, isn't it? At least in our house, yes. Okay. Made in the USA, right there. Okay. 
It definitely is in our house, especially with the dogs. The amount of dog hair we pick up, we could make our I could I could have my own little chihuahua. Or chihuini. I want a chihuini. It's a chihuahua and a dachshund, a chihuini. <laughs> okay. So that is going to be $8. Number 17. Hi, Christina. Welcome. Okay, Hemlock Lady for number 17. Thank you. All right, awesome. We are doing really good. Okay, all right. I'm just going to go along here. So here is another set of those. So I got Hemlock Lady for number 17. Here's another set of the exact same light bulbs as before. Here's the pink ones. This box is a little more squished than the other one. Okay. And there's the other box here. It has the same colors, the pink and the white and everything. All right. So that's going to be $7. $7, number 20. Whoops. All right, Hemlock Lady, you got those. All right. Okay. There you go. So Lori got one and you got one. Awesome. All right. I'm going to do the last trivet because it's right here. Yes, I do that, Lynn Johnson. I do that. Um, it's on StreamYard. It's part of that thing, and you can do a banner, and it runs across the bottom. And I like it. So our last trivet was also made in the USA. The hurrier I go, the behinder I get. <laughs> so that's a cute one. All right, that's going to be $8 for number 16. Oh, cool, Stephanie. Yeah, I, I have to wait a little while to get a, a laptop one. So, 16, number, oh, yeah. Eight dollars, number sixteen, for the trivet. Right, right. <laughs> okay. All right. Still keep on moving along. All right. <laughs> so I found these two glasses. They are. Pink depression glass. As you can see. Now, I actually, I have a book that I got from a state sale last year. And this is actually the Indiana Glass Recollection. So it's a remake. It's a remake of something in the past. Um, and it's a water goblet, Indiana Glass Recollection Water Goblet. So there's two of them. So you can have a drink and have a drink with a friend <laughs> or be a two-fisted drinker, whatever you know. <laughs> okay, so $10, number two. $10, number two, for the two glasses. Now, I thought they were very pretty. Could you your little bubbly um, champagne or rosé or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> I don't drink very much, so. 
not big on the, the words there. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. Let's pull some of these closer here. Sorry about that, guys. I got to reach this way. Pull some stuff closer here. Okay. So reaching all over the place. All right. I have these two little cuties here. And I, when I found them, I was like, oh, they're so adorable. Okay, everyone, I'd like you to meet Willie. And his lady friend, Millie. <laughs> so we got Willie and Millie. And they are salt and pepper shakers. They are plastic. And they have a strange plastic... Um, <laughs> stopper there and it says f and f daytona ohio i think yeah, usa so two little penguins <laughs> and they are in a bit of rough shape so i'm not asking very much for them they are going to be three dollars for the friends number 45 Oh, Dayton, Ohio. Yep. yep. All right. Crafty Jackie. I got Crafty Jackie. I'm going to take home Millie and Willie. Okay. Crafty Jackie, number 45. All right. I'm going to do the last set of lights that I have. Oh, excuse me. These ones are slightly different. These ones say uh, king, but they're from two guys. I don't know if anybody, does anybody else have two guys? This says, this was in New Jersey, manufactured in Japan. So these must be a little later on. Um, but two guys, I remember two guys growing up. So those are nice. Those are the more clear ones. And there, this is a set of the other ones, but um, I don't, you can't really tell unless you're looking at the package. The white one, the painting came off on the inside. So I'm not asking this much. So these two together are only going to be $5. $5. For number 22. Mm. Oh, true. <laughs> Nate, oh my goodness. <laughs> so $5 for number 22. Okay. I've got Lori C for number 22. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's see what we have here. All right, so we have here a very nice little Japanese dish, shallow dish, um, or what you want to call it. It is made in Japan, and it, it looks like trees or something. I don't know. Can't quite tell what that is, but it's very pretty. It's a nice little dish, you know. I'm not sure what you'd use it for, but. That's going to be $5, $5 for number 28. Yeah, I don't know if two guys is a East Coast thing. I don't know. All right. Okay, so we'll go from the East Coast, down the West Coast, and down to Mexico. 
down to Mexico. I showed this in a haul video and it's from Mexico. It's a bird plate and it said the priest, people that wrote on it, mom, dad, Catherine and Brian, Tijuana, Mexico, 1985, um, some sort of conference. I can't. So we know it's from back in the 80s. And these are, it's really pretty. Now, I did show a bigger one, but yeah. <laughs> the bigger one is much bigger, and I'm not sure about shipping. So I thought this was a decent size. So that's going to be $12, $12, number 39. All right, Blue Feather Mercantile, number 39. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Blue Feather Mercantile for the Mexico bird plate. All right, how about, since it's right in front of me, a little more Tupperware. We have the pastel Tupperware tumblers. Got pink, yellow, green, and blue. Four of those. And then we've got the greens, like a darker green, and some of those. And we've got three of the little ones. They're in pretty decent shape. It doesn't look like they've been through a dishwasher or anything. They are. Um, all the Tupperware and the small ones have, I have two tops for the smaller ones. So for all this Tupperware goodness, I'm asking $10, $10 number nine. All right, Blue Feather Mercantile, you're making out like a bandit today. All right, congratulations, Blue Feather Mercantile. Got the Tupperware cups. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Oh, this, I have to show you guys this one. This one is funny, I think. <clears throat> On the outside, it looks perfectly normal. You know, colonial cookbook, right? I think it's from, it's the Farmer's Almanac Cookbook, 1982. But, whew. You have to check out some of these meat, meat, poultry, and game recipes, okay? All right, so meat pie, yeah. Boiled tongue, bleh. Calves ears, <laughs> Broiled squirrel, ew. Let's see. The actual mince meat, you know, like not for the cookies, the other one. It was one of these. It was like, it was one that was really gross. Oh, here it is. Pigeon pie. Requires four pigeons. Ew. Yuck. <laughs> so... Chicken stuffed eggs in a mushroom sauce. Ew. But some of them, I was like, oh my goodness. But I just thought it was kind of funny and interesting, and that, that was just a bonus. <laughs> and that's going to be another triple T. $2, number 51.
Oh, I hope I didn't. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. So the colonial cookbook. Nobody's brave enough to make broiled squirrel or pigeon pie. I did? Me? Oh, I don't know. Unless it was somebody in the other room. Maybe. Sorry. Oops. I'm not as innocent as I look. <laughs> but didn't think I said it, but okay. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Yes, we are all adults. All right, so <laughs> this next thing, oh boy. <laughs> Need the little bleep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so this one is Christmas. And I had the hardest time this thing. I know this is going to sound wrong after what we thought we just heard, but the knob on the top caused the problems. I, I can't figure out who made this. All it says is Japan. <laughs> okay, Rita. If you want, I can, sure, I'll write down. Okay, hang on. So, Rita for number... 51. All right, let me write that down. All right, Rita's going to be brave for trying the squirrel. <laughs> so, we have N, O. Well, we all know where we're going with this, right? E, and L. So, we have Noel. I can pick them all up at the same time. Noel and I'm assuming they're they're candle holders. You have to have a very tiny candle. I know they make them, but little tiny candles. And that's for that set. It's fifteen dollars for number forty nine. Okay, let's see. I first I have Randy Heilman number 49. Okay. Randy Heilman for 49. All right, congratulations. And you know those will be bubble wrapped like crazy. <laughs> All right. So let's keep going. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so, yes, I have Randy Heilman for that. All right. This was another donation from the family. This is, of course, our favorite, or maybe not, Cornflower Blue. It is the one and a half quart. Not too bad on the inside. Just a couple. Yeah, I probably got to give that a good scrub down there. But this one comes with the top. Very nice. So I'm asking $9 for that. $9. Number eight. Yes, and to answer your question, Nate, yes, I do check those things out or watch. And um, so I know what to get next time. Okay. 
I'm going to do a few here. I'll call these my my flat <laughs> things. Okay. I know, that's kind of stupid. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have a, three or four flat things all in a row. <laughs> this is a very pretty tray platter, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it has the gold around the outside and the roses, the pretty roses, and it's made in Portugal. And the gold's in pretty good shape, and it has gray and pink roses, so very nice for, um, for like a lady's dresser or bathroom, or I'm not sure if you want to put it in the bathroom, but <laughs> yes, ooh, ah, that's going to be $9, and it's number five. <laughs> okay, Lynn Johnson for number five. Thank you. All right. So moving right along. If we have any teachers in the house, I'm sort of a teacher. Um, I don't know. I'm an occupational therapy assistant, so I do teach stuff. <laughs> but this is a very cute little teacher plaque. It has a house. It says, to teach is to touch a life forever. Teachers have a lot of class. A wise teacher makes learning a joy. So it's a very cute little... Um, little teacher plaque and it has like the little thing on the back so it's not I just thought it was cute and I know a lot of teachers are and even parents are being teachers now you know so number or five dollars number three Yes, Christina, it would make a very nice um, gift for a teacher. So. <laughs> oh. <Okay>. Gremlins? Wow. <laughs> are we talking about the movie or are we talking about children? <laughs> Okay, so now I have two plaques. I'm going to do them one uh, right in a row here. This one are antique cars. An Oldsmobile, a Packard, a Cadillac. It's the same place I got those other, um, those cards. So this has this three panels. It has the little hook. Nice for a man cave or a boy's room or something. Okay, that's going to be five dollars. Number 24. Okay, we have Lynn Johnson got it first. All right. Let me just write that down. Lynn Johnson, number 24. All right, I'm going to do the next one right after that. <clears throat> so, this one has trains. It has three different trains, same concept with the hook and everything. Okay. And there are, or there are, there is no markings on the back or anything. So that is also $5 for number 23. I see poltergeist, adults only. What the heck? <laughs> okay. All right. Blue feather mercantile for number. 23. Okay. Oh, here. We're doing pretty good. 
All right. I'll put move our Portugal friend over here. Okay. Trying to check out one thing here. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, oh, Southern Mermaid, hi, welcome. Okay, we're still going. I'm trying to. Oh. I have this thing and I don't know what it's called. Hang on, sorry about that. I had, I was doing good, and I lost the, man. I know I wrote it down. Oh, where, oh, where did you go? I guess it's not, okay. Well, you know what? I am not going to waste time. <laughs> All right, so the next three are going to be for my uh, Fire King Pyrex friends. All right, so we're going to start out here with this cute little, I think it's a ramekin. <clears throat> Anchor Hawking Fire King. Little brown dish. You know, for whatever little things you need, you know. Cheese, crackers, cheese and crackers. It's just a lonely little guy. He's going to be $3, number six. Oh, Lynn Johnson for number six. Okay. Okay, the next two. There was a bit of a debate online. I don't know because this comes off as a little more yellowish, but I don't know if it's verde. It's kind of this yellowish green. It's just your one basic Pyrex bowl. Um, and I'm asking six dollars for number seven. Okay, Lynn Johnson. All right. So I have one more. I think I have one more <laughs> piece of the Pyrex. It's more of a shallow dish. Yeah, see, it, it looked verde to me because this one is yellow. And so, see, this one, this one's the yellow and this is, so I'm thinking it is a little more green. And they're both, they're Pyrex, or it's Pyrex. Okay. It's A42. That's going to be seven dollars for number ten. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> All right, blue feather mercantile for number ten. Okay. Next, we have this thing here, and I can't get it open. All right, well, let me check this out here. Mm -hmm. Shall I 
Alright guys. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So this is a nineteen ninety seven Campbell soup tin soup truck tin. <laughs> so kinda neat from nineteen ninety seven. Um, the wheels do move a little bit. So this is going to be five dollars. Five dollars and it's number forty-eight. I can't find the tag, so five dollars number forty-eight. Okay, so let's see. I've got I see. Hemlock Lady, number 48. And that's what I see on my computer, so that's what I'm going off of. Oh, thank you. Yes, I bubble wrap like crazy. Because, especially if they're breakable... You could make a pillow, make a bed, make your sheets out of the bubble wrap. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, I use a lot of bubble wrap. I, I'm telling you, they need a secret camera. They're playing full contact football. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm bringing this friendly face back. This didn't sell. It's my. It's a scale. One of the. It's a white scale, American Family scale. Oh, that's if I don't knock it out, knock myself out with it. Now, if I remember correctly, I weighed this one time. It's about two pounds just by itself. So, just remember that. Oh, good, Christina. I'm glad. I know some of my packages are crazy. They've been all over the place. Like, taking forever to get places. So, the scale is going to be $20. Number 12. Number 12. Yeah, I'm trying to do, trying to do a little better on the... Um, do I'm trying to do emails like but I sometimes I forget to do the email after I've sent them out so I'm working on that so okay okay so what? So I have my little friend here, and I think I might have lost her tag, but here's my little friend. Now, these are called Rice Patty, P-A-D-D-Y, Rice Patty Babies, um, and I think they're made in China. And they have different um, things or types of dolls. She comes with her hat. And they even have a little passport. And now the thing about our little girl here is she has lost the elastic in her pants. So I can't let go of her. Because her pants will fall down. <laughs> Whoops! Alright, she didn't want to wear a hat. Oh. <laughs> so, this is our friend. And they, I don't know if, they were made in the 80s. So I don't know if they're the precursor to Cabbage Patch Kids or just a different verge type thing. They have those cloth bodies like the Cabbage Patch did. She is um, going to be $15. Number 15. 
fifteen dollars for number forty nine. So, not fifteen dollars number forty nine for the rice patty baby. Take me home. <laughs> okay. Yes. I have gone off the deep end, right? <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. We've got a few more things to go here in our box. And let's see. I'm trying to see. I think he was 41. Yes. All right, so this little guy here. It's a, um, a deer from Japan. I don't know if he's from, you know. <laughs> um, but he says hand-painted Royal Japan on his tummy there. He's got the dots and the horns and everything. He is going to be $6, number 41. $6, number 41 for the deer. Okay, I've got Randy Heilman for number 41. All right, congratulations. Ooh, I'll have to find some more of him, huh? He's, he was a popular little guy. So, coming home to you, Randy. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, I'll have to definitely check out some more Japanese deers. <laughs> Okay, this one, sorry, is not as exciting, but it is a triple T. That's probably good. This is coming back out. All right, nope, never mind, because I just saw something, so no, it's not. Okay, things you see in the light. <laughs> okay, so... I found this a while ago at a sale. It's called Donkey Party. It is pin the tail on the donkey. It's got a couple little rips oop, in there. So sorry about that up here. But for the age, it's pretty good, I think. It looks like they may have... Um, just use tape for the butt <laughs> and um, and then they had names which is kind of neat we have Wayne Steven Karen <laughs> Gary Sam <laughs> Harold. I am not even sure what that name's supposed to be. Carrie. <laughs> so we have a whole bunch. Mark, Craig, Richard, Chris, something, Linda, Lisa, Eddie. <laughs> so they all had names on them, which is kind of cool. Okay. Now that's cool all by itself, but you also get 25 party games for you to play. Rules and instructions. So there's a whole bunch. Red Hot Peanuts, Peanut Carry, Peanut Toss. Um, well, this says pass it, but this is kind of risque for the day. Look at that. <laughs> well, maybe not, but that graphic makes it look like it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so that is, the game is from 1952, so it's $5, $5, number 14, it's Donkey, I was going to say Donkey Kong, Donkey Party, 1952. 
Okay, Connie Emmerich. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. A little pin the tail on the donkey today for Connie Emmerich. Number 14. Let's keep going. All right, so we have some books. This is a collection of four books, The Wind in the Willow pop-up books. So it shows four different books. Let's see. Home Sweet Home. They're in really good condition with the pop-ups. There's no writing in them, and the pop-ups are still doing pretty good. So there's four books. Home Sweet Home, The Open Road, The River Bank, and The Wild Wood. So you get all four of these books in there, you know, the holding case. Treasury collection. Those are going to be $8, number 36. Yes, and these are really good. The pop-ups are really nice. They, whoever had them took good care of them. Okay, I got Cheryl Megason for number 36. All right. All right, make some good reading. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to go with a, a few more books because I just love this book. I got the Wind in the Willow book and this book at the same place. All right. Uses for Mooses. <laughs> I love it. And other silly observations. Uses for mooses. Lawn ornaments. <laughs> Hair transplant donor. A doorstop. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here we go. In the mind of mooses. Number 22, Kiss My Patootie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. The Musa Lisa. I'm having too much fun with this book. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Here's one. Here she comes, Moose America. I know, right? Okay. So, this is going to be $4, number 59. <laughs> okay, I've got Lori C. Lori C for 59. You can find out all the fun stuff about mooses. Or moose. I know. <laughs> 59 for Lori C. Right, I gotta find it. Where to go? All right. I'm gonna take a small break from the books. Now I, this was kind of a funny thing. The one place I came back to look at um, some Christmas stuff with my mom and the guy hand that says looking in the Christmas box the guy goes here take the whole box I was like okay it's a lot of stuff was like Ugh. but this was kind of neat it's all intact it is a basket that comes with the vintage plastic greenery so you have Instant Christmas decoration. 
Because whatever they used, that's not moving down there. Okay. So that is going to be $3 for number 56. Okay, I've got Sandy Otto, number 56. Or Otto, Otto, sorry, I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Moving right along. All right, let's see. this guy here. And this is going to be another triple T. Triple T for the pumpkin man. He says boo. I think he's got a little bobblehead. Okay. Triple T number 55. Okay, Lori C, number 55, okay. And if you guys don't know what a triple T is, it's totally tubular treasures. It's my version of a uh, trusty Huckster Mercantile treasure bin, and Stephanie has her $2 holla. Well, I have the totally tubular treasures. So, I have Lori C for 55. Okay, we're getting down there. We only have a few more to go. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to do another triple T because it's sitting right here. Rainy day with the Smurfs. A Smurfs book of feelings. Um, this one has had some sad times. And the the windy stuff so that's why it's gonna be on the two the triple t you can still use it though even if you don't read it it could use it for display so that's a triple t 57 number 57 yes papa smurf <laughs> so triple t number 57 for papa smurf I'm going to talk to you about your feelings. <laughs> Hemlock Lady. All right. I've got Hemlock Lady for the Smurfs. a very um, unique piece, I think. Okay. Well, hang on. You can prepare all day and still lose them. <laughs> well, I found the one from before. Oh, goodness gracious. Ah, here we go. Okay, so this beauty, it's very unique. I found it. It doesn't have anything on it. It is a cross, but it is blue and red, and it looks like you could put some sort of bulb in the back and light up the the bulbs, except there's one, two, three kind of missing. This, this one and this one, I think, are broken, and then this one's missing altogether. So no markings or anything. This is going to be seven dollars for number 42 
Number 42 for $7. Forty-two, seven dollars. Okay, that's okay. We'll just keep on moving. Okay. All right. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, about six pieces left. So seven. Okay. All right. Well, I'll do that because I'm sitting right here. It's another triple T. Okay. So we've got Don's Pets. It's about little. It's an easy reader book about the dog Don's pet dog <laughs> he's gonna call him Jinx so cute okay, and it talks about him taking care of his doggy so really nice and then the basic books it's a primer reader and together with another telltale book about See it, do oh, see it goes. So this is about different trucks and different things. How they go. Okay. And this one, I don't know if it gives me the year. 1953? I don't know. It's got the Roman numerals again. <laughs> And then this one is 1960. So both of these books are triple T's. Triple T, 58. Or $2, number 58. Okay, Lori C. Great. Number 58 for Lori C. We are getting down to the nitty gritty here. All right, let's see, number 54. I just happened to be picking up a lot of the triple T stuff. It was at the bottom of this box. Yes, okay, so this is another triple T. It is a little nutcracker ornament. It's in a glass dome with the sand or the snowflakes and it has the glittery bottom. Very cute. Oh, there he is. You can see the little nutcracker there. Okay. He is a triple T. Two dollars. Number 54. 54 for the little nutcracker. Oh boy. Lori C. Look at that. You are like the Shirley Pearl of this one. <laughs> Lori C, number 54. And if those who don't know who, who Shirley Pearl is, she's a very, must have the best internet in the world. Oh, triple T, Grace. Yes, a triple T means totally tubular treasures. Um, trusty Huckster Mercantile, also known as Patrick, started the Trusty Huckster bin where these different things in a bin were two dollars <clears throat> and a couple of i thought that was a neat idea so i kind of took my own version i'm a child of the 80s you know so i went totally tubular treasures of course we found out that was a bit too long so we cut it down to triple t so anytime it's a triple t the price is only going to be two dollars yes and thank you hemlock lady totally tubular treasures <laughs> Oh, wow. Nice. There we go. All right. So let's come away a little. Oh, now I found the rest of the other things. Of the other tags. They're at the bottom of this box. <laughs> All right. Now I found this really nice tin. Oh, it's 
so cool. It wants to stay here. It says, Ivan's Baker of Good Biscuits Butter Jumbo. So, it's, you know, had some, it's a little rough, but it's pretty decent. You know? And, yes, don't, don't eat the, okay. And it has this little latch. So it's got like this little hook latch here. Get it to go in there. So it's a nice little tin, you know, for decoration. It's going to be $9, number 15. $9, number 15. For the tin. <laughs> All right. We are coming up on, let's see, one, two, four more. All right. So this particular one is a triple T, and I'll show you why. So if you look at this side, it's nice, you know, pretty Campbell's 1983, but the crazing on the other side, oh boy, I don't know if you can see all those. They're not, they're not cracks. It's almost like crazing. So you definitely, you know, you could display the one side. It's perfectly nice. So that's a triple T, $2, number 53. Hemlock Lady. Okay. Thank you. Number 53 for the Hemlock Lady. Okay. Okay. This one's a little on the heavy side. So, this is actually a three piece set of dishes. It says Charm Crest Fine China Mayflower and it's Japan. That's the pattern name. So you've got these this bowl here. You got one bowl with the flowers and two bowls. Okay. And then you got or you have the big bowl. So you can have, you know, your dessert, two bowls to eat it from. <laughs> Let's see. And actually, nobody picked up number two, which was the drinking goblets. Those are pink. You can have drinks and dessert, and you'd be all set. So. Three of these beautiful dishes are already. Let's see. The suspense, right? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Those three are going to be twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for number twenty-five. Twelve dollars, number twenty-five. For the three dishes. Lynn Johnson. Okay. Thank you. Okay. We are getting down. We have the last two things. And... <clears throat> Technically, it's three, but it's two and one. <laughs> oh. All right, we have another tin that I found. This is actually a tobacco tin. Edgewood Extra High Grade Ready Rubbed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the top's not so hot, but the sides are really cool. Nice blue. It opens up. You know. Ah. All righty. 
So that tin is number 37. Number 37 for seven dollars. 37 for seven dollars. Carolina lady, all right. 37 Carolina lady, awesome. Okay, now the last two are a triple T. There are these very cute little um, tins. One has a uh, cardinal on it with Mary. Jolly and bright on all sides. Cheryl's gift tin. And then this one has the uh, ornament. And it has the chevron pattern on that. So that's a triple T number 52. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that is actually everything I have. Oh, Lynn Johnson gets snuck in there at the end. Look at that. 52 for Lynn Johnson. Okay. A couple things. Let me just go back over this again. Oh boy, okay, yes you do. So, I won't go over anything that I've seen. If there's something that you saw, yes, I'll grab the pink glasses in just a minute. I just wanna remind everybody, if you ordered something today, you'll be in a drawing for this lovely milk glass bowl here. It has the strawberries and the leaves. Um, I've reached 225 subscribers, so I will pick a winner next week. Okay. All right, let me grab those pink glasses really quick. Well, the other one's a little buried, but the, <laughs> here they are. Here is the pink glass. They're water goblets. They are Indiana glass um, recollection. So it's a re reproduction of the old, of a different pattern. Okay. Those are $10 for two glasses. I have two glasses, just the same, number two. So $10 for number two. And I could take eight. Oops. All right. So Lynn Johnson, number two, for $8 for the pair. Okay. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I don't want to um, overlap uh, Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage is having one next. So definitely check her out. And don't forget Laura Bemos today, tonight. <clears throat> it's going to be on Trusty Huckster Mercantile's Deep Dive. And she's talking about her domino collection. So make sure to check that out. And... Um, don't forget, reclaim treasures by Mary at gmail.com. Your name, your YouTube name, your regular name, your address, your PayPal information, all that goody stuff. All right. <clears throat> if there's anything that you saw, you know, playing it back or whatever, you know, shoot me an email. Okay, number 16. Yes. Blue feather, I can do that. Thank you guys. Let me see what that is. Okay, the trivet. Yes. Here we go. Blue feather. The, the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. And that is number 16. I can do $6. Okay. So blue feather, I can do $6 on this one. 
Okay. So. Got your blue feather for number 16. Okay, Kylie wanted to see something. Hmm. I thought I saw something. Did you? Okay. Alright, Kylie, did you want to see something about the trains or was I seeing something? No. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you, Grace, and everybody else. And I'll see you later. And don't forget to check out those other two ladies tonight. Okay, bye. Yep, don't forget to check out Laura. It should be a fun time. Okay, bye.